so this is the type of the lens which is having thick surface at the outer side and thin surface at the inner side the inner side is thin than the outer side such type of lens is known as concave lenses because this is having a cave like structure inside so this is concave lens now i introduce concave lens you can see that the thinner part is at the center of the lens and the thicker part is at the edges of the lens so you can see that the coconut tree appears to be smaller so we shall test with another object imagine my hand as an object see when i introduce this lens you can see that it becomes smaller and smaller compared to the size the watch and my hand gets smaller when i introduce the concave lens so that is the property of the lens we shall pass the laser light on the screen and we will pass that to the lens you can see that when the when the light moves into the lens it is formed away from the center right so now the laser pointer is here but when we insert the lens here you can see that it is going away from the center here it is directly on the center when we move away from the center the laser pointer also move away from the center on the screen so when we go to the left side also the same thing is happening when it is at the center it is always at the center when it goes to the left side the laser pointer on the screen also moves to the left side far away from the center as it should be on the screen it should be somewhere here but it is moved away from the center now i am going to use a light source here there is a light source here i am pointing on the screen now i am going to use this lens here so this lens what does it do to the path of the light that's what we are going to observe here i am pointing the light source into the screen now i am taking the lens and putting it on the path of the light now you can see that however i change the place from the light source it obeys like an opaque object right and you can see that extra circle over the opaque body of the lens can you see that you can see this another circle over the lens right so wherever it goes however we change the position of the lens there is an extra circle over the lens so that means whatever light falls on this lens is directed away from the lens away from the center of the lens and you can see that it is always away from the lens wherever the position is so that is the property of this lens this is convex lens so it's opposite to the concave and the property is also the opposite the center part is much thicker than the outer side of the lens here i'm using a laser pointer so when the laser pointer enters the lens you can see that the image is on the opposite side so when it is in the center of the lens the image is also in the center of and when it goes to the left side you can see that the image is on the right side when the laser pointer passes through the lens the path is deviated when i show the lens to the path of the light when the lens is too close to the source there is no much effect the there is no point in introducing the lens whenever the lens is moving away from the source at the position you can see that all the light is 
falling at the center of the lens. So that means all the lights is converged to a point. If I am placing an object, what happens to the object? The object will be magnified, right? The object can be seen as big as possible. So this is also the commonly known as search lenses. When we look at the distant object, the image is inverted. You can see some images are formed here using the convex lens. It is focusing the scenery over the so the images formed by convex lens will be always real images because we can produce that on a white screen or any of the screen. So the convex lens is a real image producing lens and concave lens is a virtual image producing lens. So you can see that images can be formed on a white screen using the help of a convex lens. So this lens can project images on a white screen so that these images are known as real images. So when we take the case of concave lens, it is, does not project any image on the screen, producing virtual images, which cannot be seen on the screen. 